Hi, this is Slater with Guild Launch, and today we're going to be talking about the Forum tab of the Admin menu. I've already talked a little bit about how to set a particular group of people to be able to view a forum in the Permissions video, so this video is more about creating forums and whether or not people who aren't a member of your Guild site can view them. So, first thing we're going to do is go to the Forum tab, right up here at the top, and this is the same menu as the Categories and Forums link over here. So if you just click this, it brings you to the exact same place. The first thing we're going to do is create a new category. Like, forums here is a category, administrative forums is a category. And we'll go ahead and make a category called classes. And this is just an, an organizational thing so that it looks nice and pretty when you create your forums and the subforums and things like that. So it brings you to this menu just click the link to return to the administration tab and you can see it down here the classes category and we'll go ahead and add a few forms now and it's the same thing as creating a category just a different little box so we'll make a mages forum and everyone knows that mages are awesome so that will be the description of the forum that'll show up when they go to the forums tab on the actual guild site and all this is, you can change the category, so if you wanted to put it into the regular forums or someplace else, we'll keep it in classes. Auto pruning is a feature where you can set up the forums to actually remove posts that haven't been responded to in a certain amount of time. So if I were to enable auto pruning, then any post that had not been updated in seven days with a new post would be removed from this would be removed entirely. It would be deleted. This is just asking if it's a subforum. We'll go into that a little bit later. And so we'll go ahead and create the mages forum. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and you can go ahead and move the forums and the categories by clicking this up here and it's literally just a drag and drop so I can move it up on top of the lockbox we'll go ahead and make another forum for druids druids are for fight and it's the same thing you can also use the post as answered functionality what this basically means is someone can mark a post as having answered a question and it's usually used for like our support forums and things like that so now we have two uh, two forums in our classes category and while we're at it I'll go ahead and show you how to make sub forums we'll make the fire spec for the mages form. When you do this, same menu as before, and yes, it is a sub forum. Then you just attach it using this drop down menu to the mages form. And you can only make, you can't have a sub form of a sub forum, it's just categories, forums, and then sub forums but and this is how it looks. The next thing we'll talk about is forum permissions. You can edit it either here with the edit link which will bring you to the permissions control for that particular forum or you can go to the forum permissions tab over here and it lets you pick which forum it is. And we have a box down here that explains what everything is on uh, as far as permissions go. So if you're using the simple mode, then we'll go ahead and look up the forum. So our news forum is set to public right now. So it means that anyone can post in that forum. And if you're using the simple mode, then you can switch it to registered, which means that only members of the guild can post in it, but non-members can see it. You can set it to registered hidden, which means that guild members can post and people who aren't a member can't even see it. Then private, people can 
see the forum, but they can't actually read the posts in it unless they've been granted permission. But they can still see it in the actual forum page. In Private Hidden, they wouldn't be able to. And then for advanced mode, it gets a little more tricky, but you have all these categories, whether someone can view a post, read a post, make a post, reply to a post, edit a post, delete a post, stick a post, announce a post, or make a post and announcement. I fell into a little rhythm there. Whether or not they can vote and create polls. And all of this is explained right down here. Um, whether or not it's all people, just regular members of your guild, or if it's a member of a particular security group. So if you set it to private, only people who have been set in the permissions tab to view it can view it. If it's only for moderators, then only moderators can view it. And so that's the basic rundown of that. For guest posting settings, which is right over here, if you have a forum set to public, anyone who uh, comes to your site can post on it. You can flag it so that on your public forums, they would need to have a guild launch account. And right now, only the news forum is public. But if you set these account requirements like this, then only people with a guild launch account can post on them. They still don't have to be a member of your site, but they do have to be a member of guild launch. And if you don't want if you don't want them to have to do that, then by default they don't require an account. The next thing we're going to talk about are forum ranks which are different from permissions and guild ranks in general. This is just how many posts someone has made on your guild site. And so we'll go ahead and add a new rank and all you have to do is input the information right here. So rank title noobs and the minimum number of posts in order to be a noob you have to have made zero posts. And this will display actually clicking the button helps. Uh, that was on me. Then you go back to rank administration and so anyone with zero posts will then display on as a noob. And this just displays right underneath the username on the forums. And so we'll go ahead and add a second forum rank for not noobs. So if you've made a post then you're no longer a noob. And if you have an image that's less than 300 by 300 pixels in your file library, you can set it to have a that is a forum rank image right here. I don't have any, but it's just a simple drop down where you can uh, place it. Let's go ahead and submit that. The next thing we'll go into is the pruning feature. I personally don't use this because I'm mostly on the support forums and you don't want me to le deleting posts on there. But if you're, for instance, starting up a new guild on an old guild site or you're having, you know, the rebirth of a guild, then you can use forum pruning to remove all of the posts except for announcements in a particular forum. So keep in mind that you should only use this as when you don't mind losing a lot of your posts. It's permanent, we can't uh, fix it if you decide to use this, so caveat mTOR. So we'll go ahead and look up the forums, and you can set any post that hasn't had a post in a certain number of days, like with the auto prune feature earlier. We'll say any post that hasn't had a reply in seven days and when you go to prune it, there weren't actually any posts like that in any of my forums, but it will tell you how many topics and how many posts have been removed in whatever forums you have decided to remove them for. The last feature is just the lockbox, and the lockbox is... Go to, go to the main forums tab first. The lockbox is something for subscription sites where if someone deletes a post accidentally 
or in some cases if an admin on your site goes just crazy and decides to delete everything it will be in the lockbox for 45 days and so you can go to the lockbox forum and as you can see we have my other account being approved but I deleted that uh, but you can use that to restore posts with a subscription and the lockbox purge is just being able to manually remove all those posts as long as they have been in the lockbox for more than 45 days in order to do this you have to type delete and you will be able to purge all the posts that are older than 45 days from the lockbox. That is our forums tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email at support at guildlaunch.com or you can post on the support forums, support.guildlaunch.com.